Hey everyone, I'm gonna make another gameplay video of Ronin. This time it's gonna be Lost Realm. So I'm gonna show you the Ronin I'm gonna use for this. I was using two different setups. This one has War God, Crest Set, Goblet of Life, and Mini Angie as pet to heal. And this one has Little Havoc, Havoc, and Axe of Strife. So two different setups. So first I'm gonna run just through like the normal mobs as you can see now i'm gonna solo them he's doing like 30,000 damage a hit self buffed and he's like half the time invisible which is really cool so here I will also do three battles in the battle, battle altar and I will fight against the demon self without any other heroes to see if he can actually tank it or not. And here he is fighting a lot more mobs. He's still able to kill them I think. Looks like a win. Yeah as you can see they are not really touching him. Really cool hero to have. So I will just run around a little bit here, kill some mobs, let's go for the pumpkin nuke. So pumpkin nuke cupid with two druids. So let's see how he's gonna do this. He's doing like 38 damage sometimes. I really like the, the beam in front of him when he strikes. It's pretty wide also and it's really fast. So, I think he's a really cool hero to have. I hope you can roll him really fast, because I heard it's been a real struggle to get him. So here I'm gonna attack with Cupid on his side. So let's see how much damage he's gonna do right now. So, looks like 46,000 average. Yeah, it looks like 40,000 up to 50,000, which is not bad. So I will also use my pumpkin duke, just gonna do one more with Cupid. Yeah, as you can see, he's close to fi well, 56,000, nice. And you can see the damage, he's doing so, fa so much damage in a short period. So now I'm gonna add my pumpkin duke. Now the damage is gonna be mad, I think. Ah, it only has four mobs, so let's see. Yeah, it's over 100,000. Let's see here. I see 74, 120, 140. That's a lot of damage. Especially when it's so fast. Yeah, it's at least 100,000, really cool. So, right now, I'm gonna fight him. One against nine heroes. So, let's see. It's never easy against nine because the chief should stun you if you become visible. But, since we procced before that and we went invisible, he was not able. Look at that damage. It's crazy. Plus, we didn't even lose health. In this one I used my little healing pad. Okay, so now I'm gonna attack the demon. I'm just gonna do it solo. So, he's gone, gone invisible. Doing 25,000 damage a hit self buffed. Can be much better when you add like Pumpkin Duke and Cupid. But as you can see, once we are invisible, we can heal up and the demon is not able to kill us, which is really cool. Well, it's not really possible to kill him, so I won't do it and it's gonna waste our time. So that's not the plan here. As you can see, like now we are invisible again and then we have time to heal, which is cool. We do get a lot of damage, but he doesn't really have that much health. But still, we 
didn't do bad I think okay so now we are gonna fight Baltar, battle altar one against five this fight looks impossible but just gonna show you how long he's able to stay alive and he's actually not doing too bad I think against five heroes okay so now I'm gonna attack with two heroes here with Michael and Ronan so Michael procked, Ronan is going, going for it Ronan is still alive Michael died, so now he's running it's against Cupid and Medusa and he was gonna win for sure here so I just ended the battle to see if it was just random luck or if, if it actually was possible doing a few times in a row so I'm gonna do it once more here Medusa proc so we are all are stunned but we are invisible so it doesn't really matter too much and here he's gonna go Cupid and Medusa are still alive again and here he comes look at him going he's just missing Medusa with his area attack which is unlucky but still just killed Cupid and we are get, we just killed Medusa and now poor Cupid is gonna die again as you can see it's pretty amazing so here I was fighting against five heroes with Pumpkin Duke and Cupid to see how much damage he's gonna do look at that damage it's crazy so many hits and now he's gonna just kill Trixie and Grimfant pretty amazing okay this is the last one this is a really strong team double evolved skull knight ghoulam phantom kim cupid and pumpkin duke so that's a really strong team so i was testing a few setups against the, this team so i wanted a setup to last as long as possible to see how he was gonna la how he was gonna do in the long in the long run so here I was adding one more hero and let's see how they are gonna do with two heroes against this team the problem is Pumpkin Duke will stack up the other heroes and by the time Michael is down they are gonna go nuts on Ronan so that was a fail here of course against five strong heroes okay so now let's use these five heroes I added little Nick and Medusa to stun them. I think this was a fun battle. You're gonna see it in a second. So Phantom King is gonna die. They still have a Skull Knight alive. And we lost most of the heroes. Only Ronan and Michael are alive here. But Michael is gonna die soon. But here comes the madness. Look at this. How is, he, how is he able to tank him for so long? I know he's invisible, but still, Skull Knight still does a few hits here and there. Problem is, we don't have any healing, so it's just a matter of time before Skull Knight hits us with a critical or a normal damage hit. And it's not like Ronan has that much health, so... But still, as you can see, he's able to tank Skull Knight for quite a long time. And here I was just tired of it, just made a strong team to finish them off. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I will also make a dungeon video, probably later today. And here the monster video. So, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.